Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Amanda here. Today I have the Bratz Challenge going on for y'all today, so stay tuned. Bare face and all, let's jump right into this video. Get into these brows right here. So what I decided to do was kind of go a realistic approach here. Um, the Bratz doll has like very thin-ish darker brows with a bomb arch so I just gave myself a little extra arch and just darkened them a little bit but I went with my you know natural brow shape just fill it on in right here for some fleeky brows okay Ooh, and then we finished the other one hey girl hey bam 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 hey <laughs> All right, so now we're going in with ColourPop Concealer in Medium Dark 32. This is, oh my god, this concealer is bomb. This is great for just carving out your brow, especially with this wand applicator. Bomb. Love it. All right, blending it out with the e.l.f. concealer brush to look even more fly. Going in with the Kiko Milano Neutral Base eye primer because you know we got to prep these eyes y'all and then a trick for y'all i'm gonna go in with the rcma no color setting powder and i'm gonna set my eyes with that and this ensures that you don't have any creasing when you go to apply your eyeshadows boom get with it here's the juvia's place masquerade palette i'm gonna use that oh girl we need to I'm hitting pan. I went in with that brown eyeshadow, which is going to be my transition shade, and that just preps the eye for the upcoming colors, y'all. Now I'm taking that chocolate brown color, and I'm just going to deepen up the crease just to give it some more dimension. I love this color, it's like my favorite. Perfect to use for a transition shade. Going in with my Morphe 35B palette, I'm gonna pick up that black eyeshadow right in the corner there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the crease to even give the eye more definition and dimension. I just love how the eye look is coming along. We are coming along, y'all. Popping. A little more buffing out. I'm taking my AOA Studio eyeshadow brush from Shop Miss A along with the LA Girl High Definition Concealer and it's the Yellow Corrector. It's good to use like a bright um, base before your eyeshadow because then it just makes your eyeshadow that you're going to put on top of that pop because we need to pop. All right. <laughs> So I'm just following my natural um, eyelid shape. I'm going in, going up just a little further um, into the crease just to give me like a bigger eyelid space, like the brat style's eyes. Okay, we just follow that right like that. Fill it in, and then do the other side. You always want to take breaks and look back so you can make sure it looks even with the other eye. Okay, now we're going in with this kind of like a light beige color in that palette. Um, on the Bratz doll I chose, she doesn't really, it's just like a neutral base on her lid. Not base, but neutral eyeshadow on her lid. Um, so yeah, that's why I chose that light beige one. And you're only going on where you have the concealer. Um, try not to go over the line that you made. Then we're gonna go in with NYX Epic Ink Liner in the color black. I'm gonna just extend the liner out just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna make the wing, not wing, but the liner a little bit thicker than I normally probably wouldn't, um, just to give my eye 
the illusion that it's like bigger and elongated. And I said wing because I usually do wing liner. <laughs> but for this look, I'm actually not going to wing it out that much because the Brad style eye don't got no wing liner. So we're going to keep it simple. <laughs> okay. And the ends don't have to be so perfect because like you see here, we are blending the ends out just to kind of make it look all in one. Not like there's a harsh end to that eyeliner. Now I have these Amazon lashes I found. I really love them. They're long and wispy. I actually cut them in half um, just to put them kind of towards the middle and then the end of my eye. Because with the brat's eyes, their lashes are kind of like from the middle to the end. Making that eye look, look more elongated as well. All right, and I just apply my lashes with my hands, y'all. All right, now, you know, we got to clean up them edges. So I just took a little Q-tip with makeup remover and clean up the edges. Just go up diagonally and you have that crisp, sharp edge. Because who don't like a clean look? Now I'm going in with the Black Opal Beauty um, foundation, the color Truly Topaz and Kalahari Sand. Um, let's see, I'm going to spray my beauty blender with setting spray. That's another trick. You, sp you spray it with setting spray so that as you're putting on the foundation onto your skin, it's actually kind of just setting it in place and which is going to make sure it lasts even longer in the day. A little trick for y'all, okay? So spray your beauty blender with um, setting spray. And it's still damp. My beauty blender is damp. And then you apply your foundation that way. All right, we just blend this out, making sure it's all over. We're going to go back in with that ColourPop concealer and Medium Dark 32. We're going to cover up all that tiredness, y'all. Cover them up. Just cleaning up where I did the eyeliner. And then I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and blend that in there. How many times can I say go ahead, right? <laughs> but yes, blend that away. Not away, but you know, blend it. We're going to go in with the RCMA No Color Setting Powder. It's not translucent. Lucent. Lucent. <laughs> it um, literally has no color to it, so it has no flashback. You can take all the selfies and the pictures you want with flash without. You're going to look bomb not ghosty <laughs> okay and then we're gonna set that with the powder all over make sure we got it in get good and now I'm going in with Stila liquid eyeshadow in smoky storm I didn't have white eyeliner but I actually like the way this glitter eyeshadow came out it actually just made it pop even more, so I'm glad I chose this one. And then I'm just pulling the look all together, making the top match the bottom, or the bottom match the top, and use the same brush and black eyeshadow. Going in with Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Highlighter Palette in the color Cop and Ice. I've been reaching for this color hmm, for the past couple looks, so this is my fave. Look at that. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> and then back with the NYX Epic Ink Liner in black, I'm just giving myself little faux lashes. Um, it's kind of the way the Brad style eye looks underneath, so I thought I would do that too. And it came out really cute me like all right on to the lips we using morphe lip liner and sugar pie we're gonna line these lips i don't really overline too much just a little bit because you know the brats doll's lips is popping they juicy so i just gave the top like eh, the top mainly a little more shape just like the Brad style, but but still keeping it, you know, keep it real, keep it simple. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. 
going in with Fenty Beauty Matte Moselle lipstick in the color Freckle Fiesta. Love this lipstick. I'm um, just going to pop that in the middle. Mop, mop, mop. Yes. Add a little more. You can always add a little, a little along the way to your liking. I'm going to go back in with that lip liner and sugar pie from Morphe. And just blend where the lipstick and the liner goes. Then I figured to just take the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife highlighter and just pop that in the middle. Just with my finger, nothing fancy. Because I noticed with the Brad Styles lips, it had a little golden touch to it in the middle. So before I put the lip gloss on, I wanted to do a little golden sheen on it. This the LA Girl Holographic Gloss Topper in the color Starlight, I believe. And this has the perfect golden touch to it. It's a clear gloss, but with some gold pigment. Girl, your lips is popping, okay? And it's not sticky either. Love it. And that is the finished look, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all loved it. Comment down below what you thought. Come back, comment, share, subscribe, please, and thank you. I will see y'all soon. Bye. Love y'all. Kisses forever. Peace. <laughs> Bye.